It goes without saying that our automobiles have gotten exponentially more complicated in recent years. And the complicated nature of designing our vehicles isn't going to get any less untangled anytime soon. Unless we start thinking differently about automotive designs. What if we change the automotive paradigm? I'm talking about zonal architectures, my friends, and let's get into it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In order to keep pace with the ever-increasing design concerns for the future of automotive designs, we need to consolidate ECUs, reduce harness size and complexity, and reduce our overall design cycle time. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Marcelino Hernandez from Molex and I explore how Molex's MX Dash portfolio will make zonal architecture implementation a reality for a variety of different automotive applications. We also investigate the trends pushing a need for zonal architectures in automotive designs and the benefits that this new approach to connectivity solutions can bring to your next automotive design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Molex. Hi, Marcelino. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, good afternoon, Amelia. Really happy to be here. Excellent. Okay, so we're talking about zonal architecture and how this kind of architecture is making the car of the future possible. So, Marcelino, first, what kind of trends are you seeing pushing this need for zonal architectures? So, there's not a single trend that is driving it. It's multiple trends heading into the same direction. There's a trend of increased driver assistance, ADA's different levels. There's the trend to increase high technology content for cameras, lighters, and radars that will enable those type of vehicles. There's also the trend to simplify how the vehicle is built. So all the different trends are merging into the need of having a different way of designing and building these vehicles. That makes sense. Now, Marcelino, what do you think is the biggest challenge we're looking at here? The biggest challenge is changing the paradigm of how we design and build these vehicles. If we think about the last 100 years, the way that the automotive industry has increased functions in the vehicle is by adding additional small controllers that control that function. So if you have window switches, now you need a window switch controller. If you add heating seats, now you need a seat controller. This zonal architecture is trying to take a blank slate and say, what's the best way, given our current technology that is way more advanced than it was 20, 30 years ago, and how can we build these vehicles smarter? And obviously, with the push to go into electric vehicles, we make them simpler and lighter. So the biggest challenge is driving to that mentality of simplification that is really going to need to increase functionality and bring all this content into the vehicles in a smart way. And that is really why Molex is developing this data signal hybrid portfolio, is utilizing our Molex comparative advantages to bring in a new portfolio of product that incorporates these new technologies, which can boil down to bringing Ethernet into a robust way into the vehicles, adding the standard traditional power and signal content, but focusing on how can we make this in an optimized package and, as I mentioned, simpler to build. All right. So what specific solutions does Molex have for these kind of designs? So Molex is developing a multitude of portfolios, but one specifically around Sonal architecture is this MX Dash portfolio. MX Dash for Molex data signal hybrids. And we have two main product families, one that aligns on a wire-to-wire -wire strategy, meaning inline connectors, and other that is the wire-to-board, which is connectors that plug directly into a controller, a computer, a sensor, or an actuator. All of these solutions focused on optimizing packaging, 
reducing connector count, reducing space and weight into the vehicles. Okay, so Marcelino, what kind of benefits are we looking at when it comes to these integrated data and signal connectors? Those benefits are at different layers and to different customers within the vehicle build process. One of the interesting things about automotive is when you think about the car, you think about the driver as the customer. For us in Molex, the person designing the wiring harness, the person building the vehicle are also our customers. So when we look at that, there are multiple layers of benefits that you can achieve. If we think about the person who is designing these connectors, I'm showing here an application that would take different connectors that can be narrowed down to one. So you gain benefits in packaging when designing the vehicle. As we know, vehicles are not getting really any bigger, but we are adding more and more functionality. So space is really at a premium. So for anyone designing these vehicles, being able to reduce the size of the space needed to use these connection systems is really a key benefit. Now, if we move along the chain to the person building these vehicles, you're going down from six, seven different operations at the assembly plant down to one, really. And we're also incorporating ergonomic features that make these connectors lower in gauge force and more ergonomic friendly to the operator. And then at the end, the user of the vehicle gets a more robust and safe and connected vehicle you know, throughout the entire value chain. That makes sense. Now, Marcelino, can you share some typical applications that would be a good fit for the MX Dash? Oh, absolutely. And there are many on the vehicle. If we go back 15, 20 years, really, that's where you started only having electric windows. But now we're adding cameras, we're adding radar, we're adding turn signals, we're adding defrost capabilities to the side mirrors. So there's a lot of content going now into the mirrors. And that's a really good spot where our wire-to-wire solution, because it integrates the signal from the camera, from the radar, into a single connector. The first implementation of you know, your mirror-to-body connection system were two or three different connectors. Now with MX Dash Wire to Wire, you can boil that down to just one. Same to the front fascia or the rear bumper where you're adding your backup camera, your front-facing camera, short, long-distance radar, you can minimize your connector count by integrating wire-to-wire into your harness design and vehicle design. For the wire-to-board applications, in the on-seal, that's controllers or computers that are inside of the cabin, we offer a modular solution that gives the flexibility to adapt the connector to the desired content in that vehicle. If you have a controller that you want to use to your lower-end vehicle and the same controller for your high-end premium vehicles in the lineup, you can adapt just the smaller cartridges on this connector and use the same interface and this way reduce complexity significantly. And the same can be said for wire toward seal, but this is more targeted to areas that are exposed to water in the vehicle, like an underbody harness or a chassis harness. And that is where Molex is developing the data signal hybrid product family, developing from the technology, the core elements to bring Ethernet in a robust manner into the vehicle, all the way to implementing this into optimized wire harness in the wire-to-wire solution, as well as optimizing the wire-to-board applications for both on-sealed and sealed controllers. So what about wire-to-board connectors? What kind of benefits are we looking at here? We look at a typical product development process for a vehicle. A lot of time is spent in validated new connection system for that vehicle. It takes around four to six months to validate currently a new connection system. So any change and any new content that wants to be added has to go through this process. The modularity and the flexibility that our wire-to-board on-seal product family brings is that once each of the elements of the connection system has been validated, proliferating and making changes reduce significantly the time to market. So you go from a time to market that could be over a year and a half, now from an optimal best case in four to six months. So it gives you that flexibility, enables agility, 
and also reduces the amount of different connection systems in your vehicle. Right now, for on-sealed applications, there may be three, four, up to 15 different connection systems in any vehicle. With this modular connection system, those can fall within the same framework and thus minimize content and greatly reduce time to market. So what kind of options do I have when it comes to terminal size here? So Molex has a great portfolio of cartridges ranging from the smallest 0.5 connection systems using the industry standard of 15 Europe and North America. That allows you to take up to 7 amps all the way to 4.8 or 6.3 wide terminal systems that can carry up to 60 to 70 amps. Molex is also developing the high-speed cartridges that can enable Ethernet and mini coax signal to be routed through the same connection system. This can greatly reduce the impact to the size of the PCB because you can optimize two, three different connection systems into just one. So we took a similar approach for our sealed connection system. When we develop our sealed wire-to-board connectors, we acknowledge that modularity comes at a price, which is growing the package. This is even more significant on a sealed connector because each interface has to be sealed to automotive industry standards. So we took the task to design this connection system as flexible as we could. And we didn't arrive to a modular solution, but more of a sectional approach, which means you can take the connectors on the right side of the screen that are already used in engine control unit applications right now, bringing signals of 1.2 with 10 to 12 amps and a small 050 blades. We section it and we're able to replace sections of that connector and bring Ethernet and mini coax capabilities within the same framework and size of connection system. So we took validated design features that have proven pedigree in the field that we know they work really well. And we were able to swap out content to generate these new connection systems that integrate ethernet and mini coax, not in the modular, but giving some flexibility from a sectional approach. So what kind of application would these connectors be a good fit for? That's really what Molex is developing for these sonal architectures. The wire to board on sealed, it's a really good fit for sonal controllers because these sonal controllers are going to be placed two or three times in different locations in the vehicle. If you take the normal approach of a single piece design, you can arrive with having six, seven different connection systems that need to be validated, tested, and released. If you take the modular approach with the MX Dash and Seal portfolio, you can test to validate just one single connector and proliferate as needed and get the flexibility that you require. The same approach can be said for the wire to board sealed for sonal sealed controllers. There's still going to be sonal controllers in exposed areas of the vehicle. And that's where our wire to board portfolio offers the flexibility to bring the required content into the vehicle. I guess the bottom line is we're focused on reducing complexity, achieving cost savings through the reduction of additional unnecessary copper being brought into the vehicle only for routing purposes. In our analysis, we've shown savings up to six meters of copper removed, and that is benefit for cost and weight savings of the vehicle. You remove operations in the vehicle assembly plant. You make these vehicles more reliable, less opportunity for errors, reduced number of plugging operations, and less plugging operations is less opportunity for failure. So at Molex, we really focus on how can we make these vehicles more connected, safer, and optimized for the future. All right. So Marcelino, that's almost all the time we have for today. But before you go, can you recap your main points for me? Yeah, absolutely. So this sonal architecture is really redefining what the vehicle is. And what I mean by that is we were used to having more and more content added on top of a platform. We're redefining what these vehicles have are bringing a lot of software in these new controllers and computers being added into the vehicle. And it's also a great opportunity to build, design these vehicles in a smarter, simpler way. This will result in safer vehicles for us in the roads, 
and it will also enable way more functionality going into the future to be added into these vehicles, such as autonomous driving and other functionality that I know our customers, the OEMs, are really willing to enable and push into the market. So we're really excited to be a part of this transformation period in the automotive industry. All right. Well, Marcelino, I think that's all I have time for. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much, Amelia. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Bolex. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.